Hello and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be creating gold text and we'll set it up as a template. That way you can use it for any special event that you may have. Let's make a start. The first thing we need to do is to create a background to put our text on. So it's over to the toolbox. Make sure you've got the default colors, any other colors, press D on the keyboard. Now we're gonna put black as our background color. You can click on this little double arrow here or press X on the keyboard. Black is now the background color. And we're gonna come up to File, New, Blank Document, Document Type, changing it from Custom. We're going to select International Paper. Size, A4 is perfect. Background Content, White, changing this to Background Color, which we've just set up as Black. So let's click on that. Going to OK, there is our new black blank document. Say that one quickly. Next, we need to rotate it. So it's image, rotate, 90 degrees left or right, entirely up to you. Now that we've done this, let's head down to the toolbox, picking up the type tool, coming down to tool options. I have got Times New Roman italic, color is white, size is 80. I think we need to go bigger with the size. So I'm going to bring my cursor over the word size. You can see it's now that hand with a finger and a double arrow going through it. Just going to swipe across, taking it up to, I suppose, around about 200 for a start will do. Let's leave it like that. Color, white. We need to change this. Clicking in the window opens up color swatch. Let's come down to the bottom. We're going to click on this icon. Looks a bit like a color wheel. And that's going to bring up the color picker. If we look down on the bottom, you can see it's got all the Fs, it is highlighted. All those Fs are pure white. We're going to change it. We're going to put in F, F, A, 8, 0, 0, which gives us this rather nice orange color. Let's click OK to that. Now bringing my type tool out, we're going to click down. It's flashing away there. Notice as well that we've now got a type layer in our layers panel. So let's type in what it's going to be, which is gold. Right, you can click on the green tick, or if you come over to the layers panel, you can click anywhere over this T area. Notice as well, layer one, as soon as you click down, becomes whatever the name is you've entered, in this case, gold. Double clicking again to highlight it so we can edit our text. I'm gonna come down for the size, coming down over the word size, as we did before, we can make it bigger this way. Or what you can also do is press Command or Control. Pressing Command or Control puts the Transform tool around it. Coming to the bottom corner, we can drag it out in size like this. As soon as you release it, the Transform tool disappears. And if you bring your cursor out a little bit, you can see the way it changes from the text, the Type tool, to the Move tool. So we can lift it up into this area. To give it that gold look, we're gonna use a style. So coming down to Styles, going to change it from outer glow. Let's go to bevel, heading down to the bottom. This one here, wacky metallic, just love that name. Click on it, just love that effect. Looks like gold. Let's go back over to our layers panel. Now to make it a bit brighter, a bit shinier, we're going to come up to an adjustment layer. You can use levels, brightness, contrast, or hue saturation. I'm going to click on hue saturation but we're not going to use it. We're going to close it down by clicking on the little cross. Instead, we're going to change the blend mode from normal. We're going to select screen. As soon as you select screen, it gives it that nice bright look. Now, don't forget, you can come to the opacity slider. You can drop it down a little bit should you want to. And everything with this is going to be completely adjustable. Heading down to our text layer, clicking on this so it's now the live layer. Notice the little FX in the corner, which indicates a style has been applied to this layer. Click on FX, opens up the style settings. Coming down to bevel, we've used 113 pixels to give us this look. But if you come to the slider, you can move it back and forth, changing the way it looks on the text that you've applied, and it quite literally becomes liquid gold. Right, clicking on down, you might want to choose that rather than having up. That gives a pretty good look, doesn't it? I like that, I like the nice bright areas. You can also come to the angle of lighting and you can move this round and you can get some really nice effects with this as well. But for the moment, I'm gonna click on cancel. 
Let's take a look at the fonts. Double click, and if we come down to where it says Times New Roman Italic, we're gonna click on this, and you can just bring it up. Apologies, part of the letter there is hidden, but you can select whatever font you want to use, depending on what you're using your text for. Even something like this can look pretty good. In fact, one of the, let's take a look, one of the ones that I quite like, if I just swipe across, I'm gonna type in R-O-S, because it's rose wood. There it is, right at the top, there. Just clicking down, even that can look pretty good as gold text. Right, clicking again, having a look at one of my favorites. I need to come over to the layers panel, double clicking so it is highlighted. I'm just gonna swipe across, Enter in the first few letters. Let's have a look at Bickham, which as you know by now, is one that I tend to like for greetings and that sort of thing. Just move it into position. To make it larger, Command T or Control T puts the transform tool around it. Moving it out into this area here, just coming to this other one as well, and perhaps making it a little bit taller. Right, double click to apply. Don't forget, we can also come back to the effects. We can change this. I'm going to move it up slightly into this region. Let's take a look at down. Yeah, quite like that angle of lighting. Let's swing this around a little bit. And just moving it around there. Like the way that's looking. So let's click OK. Now save this as a PSD file. That way then you can come into it. You can change the, don't forget the opacity on the blend mode that we've used to brighten it up. You can change the style settings. Everything with this is going to be completely adjustable. But once you've typed out your message, all you need to do then is just switch off the background layer, left with the transparency and the text, click on the top layer of the layer stack, put in a new empty layer, and we're gonna stamp all of these layers into this new layer. To do that, hold down the Alt or the Option key over to layer, down to merge visible. Shift command E is the shortcut, but if you use shift command or control, then alter option and the letter E, you can do it as a shortcut. In it goes, we can switch these off and there it is. Bringing my cursor out, it's the move tool. Click down, you can lift this and you can put it onto the tab with the image that you've created, the background for your text. Just going to press delete on the keyboard just to remove it. There it is gone and switching these layers back on again. Job done. Let's fold this down out of the way. Command zero, control zero to go to fit on screen. There is our goal text. Go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have and don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.